A new enforcement system for alcohol regulators has a Valley woman questioning the move by the Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission. Her husband was a victim of an alleged drunk driver. She hopes the new standard won't contribute to more deaths. Channel 5's Ana Anguiano reports. More than a year after her husband's death, Mary Solano is still waiting for justice. Her husband Milton killed as he rode his motorcycle on FM 495 near Sherry Road. Cynthia Heredia is accused of hitting him with her vehicle. She's charged tonight with intoxication manslaughter. We're just you know, waiting to move forward so that we can finally close that chapter of our lives and move forward with the healing process. A year after the crash, the Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission rolling out a new enforcement system for businesses. Chris Porter, TABC spokesperson, says a new policy allows the agency to be more laxed with citations. What this new policy allows us to do is um, be a little more lenient insofar as we can issue written warnings to businesses as opposed to actually filing uh, citations against them and, and beginning a legal case. Porter says TABC hopes a new policy will bring businesses who are in violation of the law back into compliance more quickly. It's about the contribution of the alcohol industry, Porter says, to the economy. Solano doesn't see it like that. It, it doesn't matter what your revenue um, that you make off of the alcohol, you have a responsibility to the community. TABC says a new standards won't put the public at risk. What we want people to know is any public, any public safety related offenses, such as selling alcohol to minors or selling alcohol to an intoxicated person, we're still going to prosecute those, you know, to the, to the best of our ability. Tonight, Solano is urging TABC to rethink the system. I think that they should continue citing businesses for the safety of the public. Ana Anguiano, Channel 5 News at 10, Hidalgo County.